Welcome to the Sleep is a Skill podcast. My name is Molly McLaughlin, and I own a company that optimizes sleep through technology, accountability, and behavioral change. Each week, I'll be interviewing world-class experts ranging from doctors, innovators, and thought leaders to give actionable tips and strategies that you can implement to become a more skillful sleeper. Let's jump into your dose of practical sleep training. Welcome to the Sleep is a Skill podcast. This podcast exists to aid in transforming the conversation around sleep on the planet. Each episode is designed to provide actionable, real deal insights and practical takeaways towards getting you great sleep. We will look at topics stemming from chronobiology, circadian rhythm entrainment, sleep technology, biofeedback, and behavioral change. So this is not one of those tired top five sleep tips types of podcasts. I really genuinely believe that the information here can change the world by changing the way that we sleep. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Molly McLaughlin, and I own a company called Sleep is a Skill that helps people optimize their sleep through technology, accountability, and behavioral change. So for more than seven years, I've been a serial entrepreneur working in the behavioral change space and producing live events in New York City and beyond. I have a background in psychology and communications and almost three years ago decided to become location independent and travel the world. Now, since that decision, I've lived in over 30 different places on the globe with only a backpack and a carry on. But before we go any further, I have to underscore that no matter where you fall on the sleep spectrum, I have been there. From your basic maladaptive sleep habits to a full-blown insomniac, all the way to logging the best sleep of my life consistently. I've been on this journey for years and learning to gain control of it has absolutely changed my life. So no matter if you identify as a biohacker, an insomniac, a bad sleeper, a new parent, navigating menopause, newly retired, an inconsistent sleeper, or reliant on sleep aids, or anywhere in between, no matter where you are on that spectrum of anywhere from bad to great sleep, I promise you that I've really been there. So to put things into perspective of just how much I really do get it, I want to share with you a quick personal story of how going from a real bad sleeper to a committed and trained sleeper has changed my life. So for context today, I mentally actually index my life in terms of three clear distinct parts before, during, and after my sleep breakdown. So before my sleep breakdown, I considered myself simply to be just another renegade entrepreneur with extreme night owl tendencies. I was just more productive and happy going to bed as the sun was rising. I was justified and righteous about it all. And unless I had to get up early for something, I didn't think it was much of a problem. However, as the years went by and I got older, my health began to deteriorate and anxiety levels started to rise. I got gastritis, shingles, headaches, and was frequently sick. My doctor discovered even the beginnings of an ulcer. So soon I started having more and more sleepless nights. I began regularly grappling with both the difficulty of falling asleep and staying asleep. That sleep monster was brewing. But flash forward to during my sleep breakdown, I was really just so riddled with anxiety over my nights that when the sun would go down, I can remember my heart that would start beating faster. And all I could think about was how I was going to face yet another long and seemingly endless night without sleep. I even went to the doctors and was quickly given pill after pill to encourage sleep to come. And unfortunately, my nervous system was so revved up that it really barely made a den anyway. But what truly terrified me the most was the idea that for the rest of my life, I would be destined to be the kind of person that was incapable of naturally doing what, quote, should arguably be one of the most basic and fundamental processes just to sleep. It was as if the me that I knew myself to be was not there, and I was left with this exhausted, fearful, anxious, and really just helpless shadow of myself. So for me, it was one of the scariest times in my whole life. I felt like I had officially lost control, and I did not see a way out. 
But thankfully, my obsessive nature, which was partly to blame for my sleep disturbances, by the way, became my saving grace. I shifted from powerless to learning everything that there was to know about sleep. I put everything that I had into regaining my power around it. And today, after my sleep breakdown, what I have learned has actually changed my life and the lives of hundreds of people that I've had the honor of working with on their sleep. Now, consistently, I wake up feeling rejuvenated with sustainable energy and positive sleep stats to boot, all of which leave me ready to take on my days. I effortlessly go to bed naturally around the same time every evening, regardless of where I am in the world. And now what lights me up and makes me feel so incredibly thankful is that I have channeled my passion and sense of mission on this topic to be able to impact so many other lives in the same way. So I'll share more about myself throughout the podcast, including more details on how my obsession with sleep came to be. But for now, all you need to know is that I really, really get exactly where you are right now. I have navigated all the confusing and expensive and often bewildering steps along the way towards unlocking the mystery of how to get and maintain great sleep. And no matter if you're at your wit's end or if you're someone who is merely looking to get the edge in your daily performance by upleveling your sleep, I got you covered. So rooted in my intense personal connection on this topic, my obsessive nature and my background in behavioral change in creating live and digital training courses, I am uniquely suited to support you along this journey. I'll assist you as you gain the insights, clarity, and commitment that is necessary for the adventure of making a lasting difference in your sleep. So the podcast is designed to prove the point that in our modern day society, sleep has become a skill set. If you could get into a time machine and transport yourself back in time and ask your hunter-gatherer ancestors if this was true, they would likely think you were nuts. But today, in this busy, distracted, LED-filled world, more people than ever struggle with sleep. And why is that? I'm making the argument throughout this podcast that somewhere along the lines, the scales tipped and something so primal as sleep has shifted over to the realm of a skill. And if I'm right, Like any great skill, we have to put in the time to learn, experiment, implement, test, discuss, and ultimately master this ancient skill. You've been listening to the Sleep is a Skill podcast, the number one podcast for people who want to take their sleep skills to the next level. Every Monday, I send out something that I call Molly's Monday Obsessions, containing everything that I'm obsessing over in the world of sleep. Head on over to sleepasaskill.com to sign up.